All right, so we're back with another We're Done Weapons Reviews, <laughs> and it's been a while. It's been over a month, so yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing a pretty famous little pistol, the Mauser C96, also known as the Mauser Broom Handle or the Red 9. That's been featured in a lot of games because it's a very cool pistol. But yeah, it's a semi-automatic pi semi pistol that originated in... It was originally produced in Germ Germany by by Mauser um, in 1896. I'm pretty sure it went before that I th a while, you know, as the development process went on. It's, um, C96 or have it has an integral box magazine that's in front of the trigger, unlike a lot of mo unlike a lot of other pistols where the magazine's in the grip. And yeah, so it gives it a kind of like weird weird appearance. Yeah, it's, it's not like a revolver, and it's not like a m regular semi-automatic pistol. It's it's in a weird spot in kind of history. Um, one thing that was common and kind of interesting at the time of the late 1800s, and actually all throughout the 1800s and early 1900s, is a pistol with a detachable stock. That turns it into a little carbine in a way, but. Yeah, a lot of pistols were issued with stocks, and the one thing that's neat about the Mauser broom handles stock is that you can flip it open and put the gun inside of it and put the stock on your belt. So yeah, it's a, a holster. It works as a holster also. So it's originally chambered in the 7.63 by 25 mm Mauser round, and then later chambered for the 9 millimeter. Also, 45 ACP in China, and f some for some reason 8 millimeter gasser. No one knows why. Um, yeah, it's got a 10 round magazine. A lot of development over the years, all the way from 1896 to 1961, using a whole bunch of war. Spanish American. This is according to Wikipedia, so it's probably wrong. S Spanish American War, Second Boer War, Boxer Rebellion, Xinhai Revolution, World War One, Irish War of Independence, Irish Civil War, Finnish Civil War, Mexican Revolution, Philippine Revolution, Philippine American War, Russian Civil War, Spanish Civil War, Second Sino-Japanese War, World War Two, Chinese Civil War, First Indochina War, Korean War, Viet War, Vietnam War, <laughs> Soviet War in Afghanistan, and East and the Easter Rising. Probably also used by who knows how many other people. But yeah, it's um, a very, very neat gun. Uh, used by Austria-Hungary, Brazil, Finland, German Empire, Italy, or Kingdom of Italy, uh, Nazi Germany, Ottoman Empire, Republic of China, Second Spanish Republic, Soviet Union, North Vietnam, um, s some also non-state benefactors were the Irish Republican Army, Many were bought by British officers before World War One, and a famous bandit in Brazil called Lampiao. Yeah. So, anything else about the Mauser Broom Handle? Well, yeah, it's had a lot of history. It's had a uh, there was the, uh, the there was the first one, and then you have you know like I said the Red Nine earlier, um, which you know has a big. Nine red nine on the grip. That's called. That's why it's called a red nine. Uh, there's also several carbine models. There's carbine since it you know it had lends itself to having a stock. There's and throughout its development, it's been you know used for all sorts of bases. You know eventually, a lo one of the famous ones is the Snellfleur, Snellfleur, which is a select fire one with a detachable magazine instead of loading through a stripper clip like most other ones. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not really, it's pretty, it's, it's unique. It's, it uh, uses a, a short recoil system, which isn't really like a lot of other pistols, because the it kind of entire, the entire top moves, but it's not really a slide. It's kind of, <laughs> it's just really weird to describe, but you know what it is. A lot of people know what it is. Um, so yeah, it has a 10 the regular has a 10 round magazine. Obviously, the later versions with the detachable magazine, you can get a lot bigger. Um, 
this was also the base for Han Solo's gun. So yeah, this is the uh, you know this is Han Solo's gun, and that's why they're so expensive in real life because not only are they rare, but they're also tied to Star Wars. So a lot of people want them. Uh, but yeah, in real life, it's a pretty good pistol. I mean, though the German military liked it, they didn't initially adopt it. They adopt the Luger before, uh, before they al actually adopted the Mauser broom handle. And the only reason they adopted the Mauser broom handle was um because they were running out of um, Lugers, which is kind of a shame. Because it's a fine little pistol in real life. A lot of really neat. Um, I mean, with the uh, guns with the magazine in front of the trigger are kind of very rare today. I mean, the only one I can... The only real one I can think of that's not just like a submachine gun with like the stock cut off is kind of the VZ-61. Which is, uh, you know, the little Scorpion. Not the new Scorpion Evo. But, um, yeah, little Scorpion. Little 32 ACP. Pip, 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 pip kind of thing. Um, yeah, other than that, I can't think of too many with the magazine in front of the trigger. I, I know there's some weird ones with it on the side, or I don't know. No. So, how is it in-game? Well, hmm. It's awful. It's it's probably the worst pistol in the game. Yeah, it, it's it's the worst pistol in the game. And you're thinking, what? How can this, this you know, you have ten shots. It's semi-automatic pistol. How is that the worst pistol in the game? Because there's a couple reasons on why it's the worst pistol <laughs> in the game. And it might be the worst... I think it's the worst gun in the game also. I mean, you could say the sawed off Lee Enfield is the worst gun, but I actually yeah, it was fairly successful with that. Because once you learn how to use it, it's pretty funny. But yeah, the, the reason why the Mauser broom handle is bad is one... You can't fire it that fast. What I mean by that, if you look at if you're looking at the background footage, I am clicking the mouse as fast as I can, and you know I have a fast trigger finger. If you watch, you know, some of my other videos, especially with the Ruby, and if you watch gun ga games with that with that have no fire restrictions on their guns, which means you can um, shoot it as fast as you want. But uh, yeah, you can't fire it that fast. I would say it's actually be the the as fast as you can fire it. It's about the same as. The Webley. It's a, it's like a little bit faster than a Webley revolver. Um, and there's also another problem in that hit registration. Now, hit registration in Verdun is already pretty, ugh, like, you know, that needs improved a lot. That's the, probably the number one thing I would improve upon before they add anything else is hit registration and then fixing the iron sights on some guns because, like, the M1917 Enfield's iron sights are off. I'm not sure about this gun. But, um, another, even though you, and also, even though you have 10 rounds in this thing, you can't reload it halfway. Like, if you shoot seven shots, you have to shoot the last three. You can't just load more in. You have to, sh you have to shoot all of them. It's like, it's like some of the bolt actions in game. Yeah, like the Mesquitans that were the, or the, uh, Gewehr 1888s. You know, you gotta shoot all of them. There's no topping off the magazine, which is a definite downfall. It's like, even though you have ten rounds, it's not that useful because it even you have ten rounds that's slow ha and has bad hit registration. Also, this is a this is a problem in real life. Also, the muzzle flip, the gun flips a lot because the because of the barrel is so high above your hand, it causes it to flip. There's nothing really you can do to prevent that. That's why it came with a stock. The one in game does not come with a stock. Not sure if they ever considered that or not. They probably they probably thought of it, but decided it wouldn't. It probably would be useful, but they probably make it a second weapon, like in, like how the uh, Luger and the artillery Luger are are separate. You know, um, it has the slowest. I think it has the slowest reload of the semi-automatic handguns. Now you might say that. Well, the artillery Luger has a slower reload. That's not really a pistol. That's a semi-automatic pistol caliber rifle carbines. Almost the submachine gun thing. I don't know. That's weird. Um, yeah, there's also... 
you know, like I said, it's you can't be topped off. It's got a 10-round magazine. Eh, like, the, if it didn't have a 10-round magazine, I, I think it'd be completely useless. And it's almost completely useless. Like, you'll see me in the video. I'll get into a pistol match with a guy with an M1911 on the other side, and he will beat me every time. Why? Because he can fire faster. Because he can reload faster. It doesn't matter that he only has 7 and I have 10. Because he can fire faster and reload faster. That is why it is better. That is why it's, it's, this gun is the worst. If you have the option to choose the Luger or the Reich's Revolver, choose it. Choose either of those. Because it's just... The Reich's Revolver is one hit kill, and the Luger does the same damage as the Mauser Broom Handle, but you can reload it any time. And you can fire it faster. Um, so in the game, the game plan in the background, I managed to get... I managed to go positive. Which is it's, it's crazy, but um, yeah, I want to talk uh, now. This, um, this is kind of the end of the review. It's like it's a mediocre handgun that you, you can't reload and doesn't do that much damage and doesn't t or hit register that well. Um, but yeah, now I want to talk about why there hasn't why it's been a month since the last weapons review. Um, it's primarily because it's really hard to get footage like of different guns because there's so many American squads. Like, to, just to get this footage, I had, I was playing a lot all day, and every time I was, I really wanted to do one of the French weapons, like the Berthier, or the, a different Shawshat, or a Belgian weapon, and I got into a French squad, I was doing pretty okay with the uh, three-shot Berthier, and then a couple guys in my squad, I don't know who they were, you know, I just played with randoms, they changed, they voted to change it to American. Like, I don't want to play as American. We were we had mortars. We uh, we were the the polis, which is I think the standard infantry. Um, so you had mortars. We had three polis, or er, three in regular infantry. So that's three mortars. If used effectively, you if you have all mortars, you can win the game so easily because you could just keep bombarding the enemy with mortars, and so they couldn't even stand in their trench. I don't know. So yeah, that's why there hasn't. I, I don't do these more often, or I stop doing them as often because. Yeah, just because I can't, you know, get footage of different weapons. And you think, oh, play attrition. On the US server, there's no one playing attrition. I looked. I saw one person one time. Like, I'd love to play attrition. I think it's really, I like, I really like attrition. I don't know. And rifle deathmatch. I like both of these, but there's no one playing. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is the review on the mouse room handle. Enjoy the rest of the video. I don't know how much is left. I've been recording for about 13 minutes. So yeah, bye.